हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम वंस अगेन टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल डीआईवाई रिपेयर्स इस वीडियो को हिंदी में देखने के लिए डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में दिए गए लिंक पर क्लिक करें इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू रिपेयर द मोटर फिटेड इन द बूस्टर पंप ऑफ आर वाटर प्योरीफायर दिस मोटर वर्क ऑन ट्वेंटी वोल्ट डी You can see that the motor is not running when it is powered by a 24 volt SMPS. When we check the resistance on the motor wires with a multimeter, it is not showing. This means that either the armature coil of the motor has burned or the commutator or the carbon brush has gone bad. So let's open the booster pump and take out the motor. This is the back cover in which the carbon brush is fitted. This is the head of the booster pump. So let's open the head first. This is the head. If you want to watch the video of how to repair or replace the head if it gets damaged, you can watch it by clicking on the link given in the description box. This is the bearing through which the diaphragm fitted inside the head is made to vibrate. Now let's open the back cover of the motor as well. This is the back cover in which the carbon brush is fitted. Let's remove the armature of the motor as well. There is a magnet fitted in the body here. The armature coil looks fine. The commutator looks dirty. Let's clean it. Let's clean the magnet as well. This is a carbon brush. You can see that one carbon brush is moving back and forth easily, but the other one is getting stuck. You can see the reason for the sticking that the plastic casing in which the carbon brush is fitted has deformed and broken due to heat. Since one carbon brush is getting stuck, the circuit with the armature coil is not getting completed and the motor is not running. So let's clean the plastic casing and widen it a bit so that the carbon brush can move back and forth easily. Since the bearing has also come out along with the armature, there will be a problem in putting the back cover because the bearing will hit the carbon brush. So with the help of thread, first pull both the carbon brush inwards and then put the armature.
After installing the back cover, pull out the thread. Before installing the bolts, let's check the resistance of the armature coil with a multimeter. You can see that it is showing about 16 ohm. Now let's tighten the bolts. Now let's check the motor by giving 24 volt power from SMPS. You can see that the motor has started working. Let's install the head back as well.